Hey everybody and welcome to One Minute Animals. In this video we will discover the top 10 ocean creatures you won't believe exist. Let's get right into it. Number 10. Giant Isopod you might think this is a giant cockroach, but it's not even an insect. It's a giant isopod, and they live all the way on the ocean floor. These alien-looking creatures are marine invertebrate that live in the depths of the Atlantic, Pacific, and Indian Oceans. And they don't call them giant for nothing. They can go anywhere between 17 to 76 centimeters big. The giant isopod's larger size is due to a phenomenon known as deep-sea gigantism where creatures that reside at great depths are typically larger than those living in shallower waters. This can be attributed to factors such as colder temperatures, higher water pressure, and the scarcity of food. In fact, the giant isopod's main food source is, well, the stuff that falls to the bottom of the ocean floor. And since the opportunity to eat doesn't come along too often at such depths, they have adapted to famine, which includes having an incredibly slow metabolism and limiting their bodily movements as much as possible. Number 9. Blobfish This is the ugliest animal in the world, the blobfish. But what if I told you it's not what it seems? You'll be shocked to hear that blobfish look pretty normal when they are in their natural habitat. The gelatinous blobs we think of as blobfish are actually decompressed specimens suffering from decompression damage. The blobfish lives in the ocean off the coast of Australia, and it lives really deep. Down there, it's dark, cold, and the pressure is extremely high. So how does the blobfish survive? Well, that's where the ugliness pays off. The blobfish has a jelly-like body that can handle the squeezing from all of that underwater pressure. Most of the blobfish that we've seen have been caught by fishing nets and brought to the surface where the pressure changes their appearance. So is the blobfish really ugly? Well, ugly is kind of in the eye of the beholder. Number 8. Handfish have you ever heard of these little fellas? Meet the handfish, the quirky creature that walks on its fins. As you can see, handfish are pretty unique creatures. They have chubby bodies and fins that look like hands. And unlike most fish that swim through the water, handfish actually walk on the sea floor, using their fins to push off the ground and take short, shuffling steps. They can be found exclusively in the southern waters of Australia, particularly in Tasmania, where they make their homes in rocky reefs and and seagrass beds. There are 14 known handfish species, each with its own set of distinct colors and patterns, like the spotted handfish, the red handfish, and the zabel's handfish. Very little is known about handfish in general, but we do know that the spotted red and zabel's handfish are critically endangered and are faced with increasing levels of habitat destruction and loss, pollution, and changing climate. Number 7. Barrel Eye Fish did you know that there's a creature with a completely transparent forehead? It's called barrel eye fish. And it turns out that unsurprisingly, the fish's adaptations are exactly what it needs to survive. First, there are its eyes. And no, we are not talking about those little black circles above its tiny mouth. Those are actually nares. Their eyes are actually those green barrel-shaped things behind the nares, meaning its eyes are inside and it is basically looking through its translucent head. And since they have tube-shaped eyes, they have a fairly narrow range of vision. But that's okay, because most of the time, it only needs to look in one direction, up. And that's because the barrel eye fish lives just below its prey. The green shield in their eyes filters the light from the surface of the sea, making it easier to spot the glow of the jellies swimming around. And as they detect their prey, they swim upward to grab them. Number 6. Sea Spider this is a sea spider, and despite their name, they are actually not spiders. They are a type of marine arthropod, and although they share some similarities with spiders, such as having long legs, they are a completely different kind of critter altogether. And one of the most distinctive features of sea spiders is their leg anatomy. It's so tiny that the sea spider's guts overflow into its legs, and males carry around fertilized eggs on their legs until they hatch. You'll find them pretty much everywhere 
everywhere in the ocean, from the shallows to the depths. In shallow waters are more visually striking, as blending in with the reef is crucial for their survival. However, deep sea sea spiders have adapted to their environment by developing longer legs and thinner bodies, which allows them to move more efficiently in the water column. What do they eat? Well, the sea spider isn't exactly the quickest or least conspicuous hunter, so it tends to pick on organisms that can't move like sponges and corals. Number 5. Peacock Mantis Shrimp this small and colorful creature packs the biggest punch in the animal kingdom. It is a peacock mantis shrimp, and despite its small size, has a complex anatomy that allows it to deliver a lightning fast and incredibly powerful punch. Its spring-loaded clubs are able to strike 50 times faster than we can blink. They typically live in burrows or crevices on coral reefs, in shallow parts of the Indian and Pacific Oceans, and they feed on a variety of prey including crabs, snails, and clams. Apart from their impressive punching ability, peacock mantis shrimps have yet another superpower, their incredibly complex eyes. Not only can their eyes move independently of each other, but they also have a whopping 16 color receptive cones, compared to the measly three that humans have. This means that they can see colors that we can't even imagine, like the subtle hues of an octopus's camouflage or the vivid patterns of a coral reef. It's like they're living in a whole different world. Number 4. Sarcastic Fringe Head This is a sarcastic fringe head, a small fish with a big attitude. Found in the Pacific Ocean, these feisty fish are known for their aggressive behavior, especially when it comes to defending their territory. When two male sarcastic fringe heads feel threatened by one another, they engage in a mouth-to-mouth -mouth combat, where they open their big mouths and press them against each other in an attempt to intimidate or dominate one another. This allows them to determine which is the larger fish, which establishes dominance. Their bodies are long and slender, with mottled brown and green colors coloring that blends in with their rocky habitat. You might spot them on the sand or mud bottom below low tide, or they might be hiding in empty shells, abandoned holes, and crevices in the rocky shoreline. Number 3. Halotrephes Masi Jellyfish this creature is a true masterpiece of nature, commonly known as the firework jellyfish, a species of deep sea jellyfish. Its scientific name is the Halotrophes masi, and the frilled tentacles of this particular jellyfish species are so thin that they almost look like they are floating next to the body, giving it a striking resemblance to the streaking explosions on the outside of a firework. Surprisingly, without any lights to shine on it, the jellyfish would be almost invisible while it floated around the ocean depths. Since their bodies are made up of 95% water, they can camouflage quite well in the oceans. This is a common adaptation of deep sea drifting animals, as it allows them to hide where there is nothing to hide behind. Due to its habitat and the challenges of exploring the deep sea, encountering one of these creatures in the wild is rare. Thanks to the advantages in technology, we are now able to witness their stunning beauty through underwater footage captured by scientists. Number 2. Feather Star Have you ever seen a feather star? If not, get ready to be amazed. These fascinating creatures are some of the most beautiful and unique animals in the ocean. Feather stars, also known as crinoids, are marine animals related to starfish, sea urchins, and sea cucumbers. And unlike their relatives, they can move around freely, using their feathery arms to swim through the water and even crawl on the ocean floor. These fascinating creatures come in a variety of colors, including red, orange, yellow, green, and blue. Some even have patterns or spots. These arms are covered in tiny, sticky hairs called cilia, which help them catch plankton and other small organisms to eat. And another unique feature is their ability to regenerate. If one of its arms is damaged or lost, it can grow back. Number 1. Sea Pen this is not a plant, nor is it an alien from another planet. It's a sea pen, a fascinating soft-bodied animal that anchors itself in the sediment on the ocean floor. Sea pens are named after the resemblance to the old-fashioned quill pens, with a stalk that extends from their basal disc and feather-like polyps that resemble the feather end of a pen. Each of these sea pens isn't a single animal, but a colony of individuals working together as one. Different parts of the colony have specialized functions, such as 
as pumping water, reproduction, or catching prey. Some species are even bioluminescent, producing a soft glowing light that is used to attract prey or communicate with other sea pens. Interestingly, sea pens can move in and out of the sediment, but this behavior happens so slowly that it's difficult to observe. It's thought that this behavior might help protect sea pens from predators. Sea pens are just one of many incredible creatures that make their home in the vast and mysterious ocean. Which ocean creature surprised you the most? Let us know in the comment section below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn the notification on so you won't miss any upcoming videos. See you next time.